Hello, class. Good morning. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Good evening. Hello. Hi, Hi everybody. Good evening. Good evening, Good evening sir. Everybody. Let me see where is everybody. We have Roxana, Uri, Maribel, she's there. Gerardo. So remember yesterday we did too much, too many, yes? Yes. Yes. So listen, one beer, it's okay. Two beers, it's okay. Three, four, five, it's okay. Six, that's a lot. <laughs> Fifteen, too many. Too many. Yeah, I yeah, know, too many. Yes. And that's what we were practicing yesterday. Was it raining in your house today, near your house? Do you see my screen? Yes. 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 Yes, yes right. I do. Yes. All right, good. Let me see. Quantity, that's what we saw yesterday. Do you remember? Okay, so let's do this. Which is correct? There aren't too many police officers in my city. There aren't enough police officers in my city. Or there aren't two police officers in my city. The second one. Second one, yes. There is too much traffic. So the government needs to build more highways, fewer highways, enough highways. More, More highways. highways. More highways. Which is correct. There are too much pollution in my city. There is too little pollution in my city. There's too much pollution in my city. There is too much there pollution in my city. Everyone. So, imagine Mexico City. Complete the statement. I can't sleep at night. There should be less noise, more noise, too much noise. Less noise. Less noise. Number five, complete the following statement using quantity expressions. Too many, fewer, more. Make sure not to use capital letters or periods. You need to more. build more highways. More highways. Okay, next we're going to do, learn how to ask and answer indirect questions. Practice using questions, discussing a city, a new destination. By at the end of the class, you will be able to form politely indirect questions such as could you, do you, can you? Let's see this, let's see the video. <clears throat> Ya han pedido direcciones. En El Salvador, la, la típica forma de pedir direcciones es. Eh, disculpe. Cuadra. Yeah. Oh, ok, sí, antes que nada, mire, no sé si solo son. Definitivamente somos de los peores para dar direcciones, siento yo. Hay unos que dicen que Nicaragua está, o Costa Rica, bueno, nosotros hablamos tan mal. Pero no entendemos, porque nosotros siempre decimos 
aunque la calle esté recta, eh, se va aquí para arriba, decimos para arriba, y aunque la calle sea recta, o decimos cruce a la derecha, y no se puede cruzar a la derecha, cruz, cruz, cruzar, cross viene del cruz. O sea, eso lo... Debería ser gire a la derecha. Algo así. Gire, ajá. Porque, por ejemplo, la razón que les digo esto es porque en inglés van a decir cross left. Si lo traducen, le van a decir what? Es imposible cruzar. Pero nosotros lo decimos y nos entendemos. Sería turn. Turn, yes. Turn right or the left. Turn right, turn left. Cruzar es literalmente cruzar, pero norte a sur, sur a norte, este a oeste, oeste a este. You know? Por eso uno dice cross the street, porque va de un, lado, de un punto al otro. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, entonces, y, y siempre decimos un palo de hule. <ríe> Por el palo de hule a la vuelta. Yeah. Entonces ya van a ver cómo preguntan en inglés. Hoy, en este video es de cómo se hacen las preguntas en inglés. Ok, so let's look. Hi everyone. At the end of this class, you'll be able to ask and answer sí. the yes. Yes. The yes. city okay. or a new place that you might visit. For example, you'll be able to make the following questions. Could you tell me where the bank is? Do you know where the nearest ATM is? Do you know where the restrooms are can you tell me how often the buses run do you know where i can catch the bus before i begin to explain the grammar involved what i would like to do is i would like to play an audio program which illustrates how this topic is used and so what we're going to do at this point is we're going to listen to a conversation and we're going to listen to different questions that are asked about a city your task is to listen carefully and I will ask you questions at the end of the audio program. <clears throat> Excuse me, could you tell me where the nearest ATM is? There's one upstairs across from the duty-free shop. Great. And do you know where I can catch a bus to the city? Sure. Just follow the signs for transportation. Okay. And can you tell me how often they run? They run every 20 minutes or Excuse me, it's me again. I'm sorry. I need some more information if you don't mind. Do you know how much the bus costs? It's $20. You can buy a ticket on the bus. $20? Wow. Well, a taxi costs about $50. Hmm. Okay. And do you know where a bookstore is? I'd like to get a guidebook. Go upstairs and turn right. You'll see one on your left. Thanks very much. Have a nice day. You too. Let me present some structure at this time. What we want to do in this class is we want to learn how to change direct questions into indirect questions. And the reason that we want to do this is because it's a lot more polite to use indirect questions. So for example, if I say, where's the bank? It's less polite than if I say, could you tell me where the bank is? And what we're gonna learn is we're gonna learn some rules that we're gonna follow in changing these questions from direct to indirect questions. We're gonna learn how to do it with the verb to be, and we're also gonna learn how to change WH questions with either do or did. Now let's try to make sense of this whole concept here. What we want to do is we want to be able to turn direct questions into indirect questions. And let me propose a formula on how to do this, if you will. So we want to turn the question, where is the bank, into an indirect question and the way that we will do that is we will use some kind of polite model verb. So in this case, could you tell me? All right. And then this is going to be followed by a WH word. In this case, it happens to be where, but it could be any other WH word. For example, it could be what time, 
how often, when, etc. Any kind of WH word is what we're going to include here. So could you tell me, and in this case I will ask where, this is going to be followed by the subject. So in this case it happens to be the bank, where the bank, and then finally we're, we're going to include the verb. So in this case, could you tell me where the bank is? And just so that we follow the pattern that I'm proposing here, I'm going to go ahead and play with the colors for now. Now let's try to make sense of that second question that you see there towards the bottom. Where are the restrooms? That's the direct question. What we want to do is we want to turn that question into an indirect question. And you can do that in different ways. For example, you can do that by asking, do you know? Okay, or using another model verb. So in this case, I'm going to propose in using this um, polite way of doing it. Okay, so I'm basically just going to copy that so you can see that it's the, basically the same pattern that we're following. We have, could you tell me? And that follows a WH word. So in this case, where? Okay, so the subject is what's going to change now. And instead of saying the bank, we're now going to say the restrooms. And then it's going to follow the verse. So in this case, it happens to be that since restrooms are plural, then we're going to use the verb to be are instead of the verb to be is. And um, well, um, the phrase here could change, as I mentioned, just like we have it there on the book. Do you know where the restrooms are? And basically, we're going to follow the same pattern for the questions that you see towards the bottom. The only difference here is that we're no longer using the verb to be. We're using other verbs. And we could be talking about the present. We could be talking about the past. And that's what it means by either do or did. So let's try to make sense of those as well. So in this case, it's a similar pattern, if you will. How often do the buses leave? Okay, what we want to do is we want to be able to change this question into an indirect question. And again, we can use the same pattern that you see here. So for, I'm just going to go ahead and copy this previous one that you see there so that you can see that uh, nothing changes or just a few things will change. So in this case, could you tell me, I mean, that's similar thing. Could you tell me? And we're going to use uh, the uh, WH question. So in this case, it's going to be how often. All right, and then that is followed by the subject. So in this case, the subject is the buses. And then that is followed by the verb. And so in this case, it's no longer the verb to be, but now it's the verb leave. How often do the buses leave? Could you tell me how often the buses leave? Let's try to make sense of the other questions that you see there towards the bottom. So in this case, what we want to do is we want to use a polite way of asking. So you can ask in the form of, could you tell me? Do you know? Can you tell me? Um, and then it just repeats itself with do you know. So in this case, we're going to use do you know. That's the second question there. Do you know what time the bank opens? So let me go ahead and write that example now. Do you know? That follows the WH word, so in this case is what time. Then that follows the subject. And one thing that I want you to notice here is that in our indirect question, we remove the auxiliary verb. So we don't include does or do. It no longer exists in our indirect question. Do you know what time the bank opens? And the other thing that happens here is that the verb in this case will need to have an S. And that's because since we don't have an auxiliary verb and the subject of the verb is singular and we're talking in the present, therefore we need an S as you can see there. And uh, well, let's do the last one there. Uh, what, um, when did flight five Six six arrive. So in that case, um, the question could be, "Do you know?" And the WH word is when. And uh, the subject is flight five six six. 
and in this case we have to change the verb to the past because we're not we're not using an auxiliary uh, like we're using the auxiliary when did fly 566 arrive in this case this verb is in the present but that's because we're using the auxiliary did so in this case since we removed that auxiliary verb that I mentioned we need to change that verb to the past form The last thing that I would like for you to do now is to practice the concepts that we talked about. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to post some questions here. These are common questions that people ask whenever they visit another country, another city, a place you're not familiar with. What are those questions? For example, how much do taxes cost? And remember that our goal is to change these direct questions into indirect questions. And you're going to follow this formula that I gave you. So how much do taxes cost? Well, you're going to use do you know or could you tell me or can you tell me? And then follow this formula. That was long. So let's do it my way. So look, a direct question is this. Where is, let me see, let me see, let me see. Where is, give me an example. Where is? The bank. It's okay, good, but okay, good. Where's the bank? Let me see. Where's Price Mart? Where's Price Mart? It's in Antiguo, in Antiguo Cusatlan, right? This is a direct question. Where is Where is Hotel Presidente? Is this a direct question? Yes, where is Hotel President. Who said Africa? Wrong question. <laughs> Africa? No. Where where is Hotel Presidente? It's in where is Hotel Presidente? Escalón. Escalón. San Benito. Yeah, it's not San Benito. I always confuse those two. Sheraton. Sheraton Presidente is the, is the, is the. It's San Benito, right? Is the, is the, no. Yes. Oh, no. Intercontinental. I don't know. Well, Sheraton. Mm. Wait, which is the one in Escalón? Yes, in Escalón. That's the, that's the Hotel Presidente? No. It is in an escalon. Which is the one in, in San Benito? President. Oh, the one in San Benito is Hotel Presidente because ahí está también la sala, right? La Anfiteatro Presidente. Avenida La Revolución. Okay. It's in San, San Benito, right? What is the name of the, of the hotel in Escalón then? Is that? Crown uh, Plaza. Plaza. Thank mm -hmm. you, Crown mm -hmm. Plaza. Okay, good. Crown. So, Crown Plaza. Do you know when 
when I got married, when I make a say, my family came from the United States and they stayed in Crown Plaza. But that day, that day was the Teleton in El Salvador, <laughs> many years ago. So I go into the elevator and then the elevator opens, boom, and this woman comes in, muy educada, buenos dias, Good morning. <laughs> It was Maribel Guardia. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was in the elevator when my brother, went, oh my gosh, she's, she's, she was beautiful. <laughs> and I said, and I said, um, uh, hi, can I take a picture? And she said, yes. And we took a picture. Y ahí le dije, sabe que hoy me caso. Said, oh, felicidades. Yeah. Pero si usted quiere, no, no, no me caso. <laughs> you know, and she says, no, 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 please, please get married. Okay, okay, thank you. <laughs> Por eso siempre molesta a mi esposa. Digo, mira, gracias a ella estamos casados porque ella lo decidió. <laughs> no, yes. But yes, that is the Crown Plaza. So, where is the Crown Plaza? Blah. Where is the Crown? I'm sorry. Where is the Crown Plaza? It's in La Escalón. Where is Hotel Presidente? It's in San Benito. Those are direct questions. Why? Because one possible answer. Well, two, I don't know. It's the second one. Now, now we're going to practice indirect questions. Mm -hmm. Now, this is how you ask, hi, um, when, when you're asking for directions, could you tell me, could you tell me, I'm sorry, could you tell me, podría decirme? Can you tell me, puede decirme? Can you tell me where Hotel Presidente is? That's indirect. Because the answer is yes. And you give directions. For example, in a mall, yes, is. For me, in Multiplaza, man, yo no entiendo ese, ese edificio. I always, I always get confused. So um, I always ask the security, excuse me, could you tell me where Claro is? Porque soy de decir, hey, where is Claro? It's not no muy educado, right? But if you say, excuse me, could you tell me where Claro is? And then the security, yes. Go, turn, go. Vamos a direcciones después, como a direcciones, okay? Do you understand? Yes, I got it. All right, cool. So um, there's another one. Do you know where blank is? Okay, um, let me see. Um, Alejandra Milena, where do you live? In Santa Ana. Do you know where Los Remos is? Remos? I don't know if it is. Okay. Do you know where La, ter <laughs> La Tertulia is? Uh, I think it's in the central part. Okay, good. 
good. Aún existe la tertulia. I don't know. Oh. I can't oh, my God. <laughs> no, lo, los, los Remos, it was a good bar. It was a nice bar. It was exactly, exactly next to Cathedral. Uh, no. Nowadays, eh, there is a, like, a restaurant. Oh, okay. The, okay. the most famous restaurant in the Central Park. Oh, okay. All right. Good, good. Oscar Chacon, where do you live? I'm living in San Martin. I live in San Martin. I live in San Martin. Do you know where Peru La Pia is? Yes, I know. All right. It's uh, the carretera from Suchitoto. Road to Road. Suchitoto. Road to Suchitoto. Okay, very good. Thank you. So Peru La Pia is after San Martin, correct? Yes. All right. Hello, Uri. Hello. How are you, Uri? I'm fine, thank you. And you? I'm very nice. Thank you. I like your picture. Thank you. All right. Where do you live, Uri? I live in San Salvador. What part of San Salvador? Uh, Colonia San Mateo. Okay, good. San Mateo, San Mateo, San Mateo. Yeah, it's close to the Cuscatlan Stadium. Oh, yeah. Hey, we're neighbors. <laughs> Do you know where Neptunos is? Yes. Uh -huh. No. <laughs> Do, you, Do you know where Basurero is? is? In... Yes. But at Basurero, one, not two, but one. Is in La Cima? No, that's Basurero, too. Y, uh, carretera Comalapa. Yes, it's in um, Montserrat, yes. Mm -hmm. All right, cool, nice. Okay, so that's how you ask, do you know where is? Do you know where blank is? So remember, if you are in a mall, if you are in the street, yo lo preguntara mejor de solo, excuse me, do you know where is? Yes, I do. I frequently do this in a mall. Like if I go to Metro Centro and I need to go to, I don't know, Gao, guys, I look for the security. And I say, excuse me, do you know where? Oh, like, like in the supermarket. Yes. Excuse me, do you know where the milk is? Yes. Ahí donde dice leche. Oh, thank you. Oops. Okay, so the uh, oh Roxana Alvarado, San Miguel, San Miguel. Hi. <laughs> Do you know where Barrilito is? Yes, it is in Barrio La Merced. All right. Do you know where Puerta Vieja is? It's on the Roosevelt Street. I won't exist. I'm not solo, sure. Solo no. <laughs> <laughs> no, because I remember when I was in Santa Ana, all, all the students, teacher, let's go. Okay, let's go. But, okay, San Miguel. That's why, that's why. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right, good. So, do you understand? Yes. 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 Okay. Te lo voy a preguntar en español porque no sé cómo hacerlo largo. Okay. En los ejemplos que vi el video, cuando va a dice the bank, the rest, the, the, pero no dice esta palabra directa. Y ahorita en los ejemplos que se pone, pone un solo el nombre, el, 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 el subject lo pone solo, sin el D. Eh, no sé si es necesario o no es necesario agregarlo. De hecho, en los videos pone, do you know where the bank? Oh, okay. 
me quedo de esa duda, no sé cuál es la yeah. forma correcta. Okay, good. Um, because when you say the bank is in general. But if I am specific, I don't say the. Do you know where it, where Agricola, Banco Agricola Comercial is? Do you know where Hotel Presidente is? Or I can say, do you know where the hotel is? Pero me va a responder usted, ¿cuál hotel? Okay, I got it. Yeah, good, good question. Remember, el artículo es generalizado, the bank. Yes. But if she has a direct one name, then we say the name, no article. But as is, I think I asked Uri, do you know where Neptunos is? Yes, it's in La Cima. La Cima, yeah. Boquitas in Neptuno are very good. I remember. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> No, no, really, they're, they're very good. Sometimes I go and buy um, camarones early. They're very good. Pero to go. Okay, let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see. Carmen Lisette, where do you live? I live in Boulevard Constitución. All right. Do you know where Palios Chinos is? Yes, it's near to the San Antonio Abad, or not? No, it's near La Chulona. I'm not, so I, I, I don't know. You don't know where Palios Chinos is and you live near Bolivar Constitution. Oh my God. Palios mm -hmm. Chinos maybe is the best maybe. Chinese food restaurant. Pero los baratos, right? <laughs> It's very good. Okay, so uh, Boulevard Constitución, do you know where La Cocina Maria is? Yes, I, I know. <laughs> I remember Cocina Maria was nice. It still exists? Yes, uh, the Cocina de Maria exists, but not always is with a rock band. Really? No, no, by the pandemic. Pand pandemic. Okay, so no more music? Not always. Oh, but I remember that they had good music. All right. Let me see. Daniel Palacios, where do you live? I, I live in San Martin um, after the Apulo. After. Really, I know, I know something. After? Yeah, after Apulo. After Apulo. Yeah, after Apulo, San Martin, yeah. Between yeah. San Martin, mm -hmm. between San Martin and Apulo. Oh, okay. Do you know where Cárcel de Mujeres is? Um, no. Uh, see. Sí. Yes, yes. Yes, I know. Yes, I did. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. It's very close to San Martin, no? Uh, Carcel de Mujeres is Ilopango. Oh, Ilopango. it's Ilopango. Okay. I remember San Martin very good because. Um, 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 restaurant, restaurant La Curva. La Curva, yes. And there's a famous motel there, yes? Um, well, there's like three motels that are very famous. Three? No, no. <laughs> wait, wait. I remember <laughs> because I, I frequently went because my mother, she had a house in, in Suchitoto. Uh -huh. So every weekend, Sarmaruta. I usually visit <laughs> I went with my wife. Grandfather <laughs> in Suchitoto. Oh, really? Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, Grandfather. Good. Oh, nice. All right. So that's why I remember that street. 
Okay. See. Okay. All right. So very good. That that's the difference. Uh, where is San Martin? Direct question. Could you tell me where San Martin is? Indirect question. Okay. Yes. Do you uh, questions? Okay, let me see. Francisco Javier, ask me a question. I live, okay, I live in Vista Hermosa. Okay. Do you do you know where is Unicentro Ilopango? Yes. Okay, um, repeat please. Do you know where is uh, where no okay, where Ilopango is? Uh, yes, yes, I know Ilopango. Inocentro Ilopango is. Unicentro. I don't know. Unicentro Ilopango is the one in front. What, Carretera de Oro, no? Yes. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yes, I know. There's a dispensa on one, correct? Yes. Yes, I know. I know where that yes. is. Yes, I know. Good. All right. Nada que ver con Vista Hermosa, pero <laughs> good. All right. Nidia, ask me. Hi, teacher. Hello. Do you know where Estadio Cuscatlán is? Of course, I know where Estadio Cuscatlán <laughs> is. Okay, teacher, I have a question. Yeah, sure. Um, uh, for answers, negative answers? No, I don't know. Okay. No es necesario poner todo. No, I don't know where is. Well, it, it's, it's, it's very recommendable for practice. Like, no, I don't know where Estadio Cuscatlan is. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Good question. Good question. All right. Let me see. Where is Marvel? What happened to Marvel? Okay. Genaro, ask me. Yes, teacher. Do you know? Where Cathedral is? Yes, I know where Cathedral is. Okay. In one day in Cathedral, I was baptized, communion, <laughs> confirm. I don't know everything. In in Cathedral, when I got married. Hmm. Hmm. Do you know where, um, oh, okay, yeah, that's good. Let me see. Maribel Pineda, ask me. Um, do you know, do you know, do you know where um, Palacio Nacional is? Yes, I know where Palacio Nacional is. It's very beautiful. And the one in Santa Ana, too, is very beautiful. Okay, now, thank you. Now, you can say, do you know where? Y también podemos decir, do you know what? Do you know who? Yes? Let's do one round. Carmen Lisette, do you know who Bono is? I think Bono is from England. Bono of you too. Yes, good. Okay, so very good. I actually say, uh, yes, Bono is the singer of you too. Okay, Bono is the singer of you too band. Oh, you too band. Yeah. It's my favorite band. Yeah, but they're from Ireland. Ireland. Right. <laughs> All right. Your turn. Ask somebody, please. Remember, you can say, do you know what? Do you know who? Do you know where? Por ejemplo, aquel día les pregunté, uh, do you know what Cocomal is? To Melissa, uh, to Roxana and, um, yeah, from Roxana, from San Miguel. Okay, go ahead, Carmen, please ask somebody. Gen uh, Genaro, do you know 
who Madonna is? Madonna. Madonna. No, McDonald's. Madonna. Singer. Chef. Repeat question, Carmen. Eh, do you know who Madonna is? No, I know. Uh, knows Madonna. And now you don't know who Madonna is? I made it o to sea, the wilderness. O sea, face to face? No. No, in come on. Video. No, no, no. no. <laughs> That's envious. Envious. Uh, <laughs> no, no. Everybody yes. knows Madonna. <laughs> in the midnight hour. I love Madonna, but the 80s Madonna. Okay. Very good music. 90s too. All right, good. <laughs> Renato, your turn. Um, Oka Chacon. Okay. Um, do you know where uh, uh, do you know where a restroom restroom? Restroom. Uh, sorry, I don't understand. Do you know what? Okay, repeat. Uh, or change uh, the question. Okay. Do, do you know what time the banks Cuscatlan? What time the bank closed, uh, Yes. The, what time opens? Yes. Uh, Can you repeat the question, please? Do you know what time the bank's closed, Catalan? Opens. Opens. Excellent. Okay. Uh, yes, I know. Uh, the bank closed, Catalan, it opens at 9 uh, October. Okay, you mentioned two things, Banco Cuscatlan and it. It is Banco Cuscatlan. Okay. okay. So two Banco answers. Cuscatlan opens. Exactly. You know, uh -huh. Or it opens. It opens. Y ahí sustituyo el nombre del banco. Yes. Okay. Porque la pregunta aún tiene el subject, you know. Do you know what time the Banco Cuscatlan opens? Yes, it opens at eight o'clock, no? Or nine. 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 All right, very good. Oscar Chacon, your turn. Ask somebody, please. Okay. Um, ¿Qué falta? Um, oh, you have the ladies. You have all Alejandra? the ladies. Alejandra? You have Uri, Melissa. You have Maribel, you have Alejandra. Okay. Uh, okay, uh, Alejandra, do you know uh, where uh, Restaurante El Conejo is? Um, yes, I know. Um, it's in the restaurant. Repeat the, the name, sorry. El Conejo. El Conejo is between the bank and 18, 18 M. I don't know, I invent. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> Where is El Conejo restaurant? Estaba, no sé si está todo ahí entonces. Eh, aquí por la, por la de la Mozarrat. Oh, it's not venado, que... el venado. Ah, perdón, venado. Tiene razón. Oh, okay. Venado. <laughs> yes, 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 <laughs> al final, al final, que se sirve un restaurante. Y es el que se ocurrió. I, I, I live three, three blocks from el venado. Ah, okay. okay. Yes, I was thinking el conejo. Mm, I don't remember el conejo. Me recordaba similar. <laughs> venado, okay. El venado, yes. It's, a, it's, it's good food. Yeah. All right, excellent people. Listen to this, watch, watch, watch.
Um, do, 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 do. Let me see. Melissa, are you there? Yes, I am. <coughs> do you know, hold on. Do you know who this person is? I'll tell you right now. Wait, give me a second. Can you repeat? I don't do you that. know who Pablo Diego Jose Francisco de, de Padua Juan Nepuciano Maria de Mercedes Cipriano de Santa Rosa Trinidad Ruiz is? No, I don't know. <laughs> it's Pablo Picasso. Really? <laughs> yeah, that, that's his complete name. <laughs> Pablo My Diego God. Jose. He has Todos los santos. Ruiz Picasso. Suerte, ¿verdad? Que no se puso Pablo Picasso. Más cortito. <laughs> Imagínate. La terminaba la luz. Yeah. All right. Uri. Yes. Do you like, what do you like? What are your hobbies? Um, listen music. You listen to music. What music do you like? Um, uh, Aerosmith, uh, rock, pop. Did you, did you go to the Aerosmith concert? Yes. It was good. Yes, so good. I went to the concert and I remember I, I had my Jason mask. <laughs> and, and I went with no, like, Una mala palabra, reggaeton, no. No. Uh, yes. No, uh, reggaeton, no. No, oh. por eso, yo fui así, like, forget the reggaeton, you know. Uh -huh. And I remember I painted my nails. <laughs> I painted my nails black. Uh -huh. And um, the next day, I had to teach. <laughs> and, and I tell my wife, me puede dar acetona, please, me quiero pintar las uñas. My wife, no tengo. <laughs> What? You don't have a seton? <laughs> so I had to go to teach with my nails black. <laughs> oh, I know. But I wasn't saliendo el periódico. Jason estuvo presente en el concierto. Yeah. Hey, that's me. So that's cool. me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was a good concert. Um, yes. All right. Good. Cool, man. Errol Smith. Do you know who Radiohead is? Mm, a little. Do you know who Nirvana is? Yes. Yeah. También a ellos bien concierto. I saw Nirvana in concert. Mm, no, I, I don't. Yes, it was good. It was good. Daniel, all right, cool. You're a rock star. Nice. <laughs> yes. All right, Daniel Palacios. Do you? What do you like? Uh, I I like in San Martin. No. What do you like? What are your hobbies? Do you like to read? Uh, do you okay. like art? Do you uh, like history? Um, or hear music? I like music. I like music. I like music. What music do you like? Um. Rock Contemporaneo, uh, 80. Do you know Air Supply? Uh, uh, yes, Air Supply, uh, Aerosmith, uh, Guns oh. N' Roll. Oh, Young excuse me, Earth. excuse me, you. All right, cool. You empecé soft with Air Supply. Okay, Guns N' Roses, nice. Uh, Do you like U2? Uh, Guns N' Roses and Iron Me, you too. Uh, what you too? No, you too. Ah, uh, you too. Yes, I listen to you too. Ya he escuchado las canciones que le han escrito a Salvador. Mm -hmm. oh. Two songs. Yeah, it's, it's very good. Pet Shop Our, Boy. Yeah, Pet Shop Boys. Yeah. Hey, everybody, we need to reunite and 
and have a party. Roxanne Alvarado. Yes, do you like, sure. do you like art? Mm. Do you like history? Do you like to read books? Not what really. Do you, <laughs> you don't, what do you like? I like what plays. I like playing soccer. I like to right. play soccer. Yes. You like to play or to watch? Uh, actually, play. I, I like, like to, to play. All right. I used to watch Barcelona's games. <laughs> do, you, do you like national soccer? Not really. Do you know who the Melo is? No. Okay. Do you know, Oscar, who the Melo is? Mm -mm. Okay, and Oscar Chacon, do you know who the Melo is? Yes, I don't remember. It's a Bra Brazilian. Nilson de Melo. Nilson. Eh, eh, no. He plays with the Selecta. Eh, yes. seleccionado nacional. Uh -huh. He was good. He was good. Yeah. Excellent player. Metiago every game. Yes, yes. But he was a big alcoholic. <laughs> <laughs> sí, tenía problema con el alcohol, sí. Se acuerda que iba morado, todo hinchado en la cara. Que dice que jugando con el hijo lo golpeó. <laughs> Pero aún sí, pues... hace como cuánto, no? 15 años. Yeah, maybe. Milovan. Sí. 15, yeah. You know, yes. Uh, Carmen Lisette. Yeah, teacher. Do you know who Don Quixote is? Yes, eh, Don Quixote is in El Carmen. Eh, Paseo El Carmen. In Santa Tecla. Ah, oh, no. Listen to my question. Do you know who Don Quixote is? Not where. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, no, it's okay. I was thinking, <laughs> oh my God, I almost said Don Quixote. I'm sorry. It's not funny. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> no, it's okay. That's right. No, it's okay. It happens. <laughs> yeah, Don Quixote <laughs> is a literary. Um, um, Character. Character, yes. Um, the Don Quixote in Paseo del Carmen, have you gone there? ¿Ya ido al Don Quixote in Paseo del Carmen? Yes, I went um, four or five years ago. And and the place is decorated with Don Quixote pictures? So. Yes, uh, the place. Oh have uh, some picture and sculpture. Wow, nice. Yes, metal sculpture, yes. Okay, I want to go now. Don Quixote is my favorite uh, book. I love Don Quixote. All right, let me see. Maribel Pineda, do you know? Oh, y si la persona está muerta? Do you know who Hitler was. Maribel, Maribel, do you know who Hitler was? Oh yeah, there's two Maribels, huh? Excuse me? No, no. Maribel Pineda, do you know who Adolf Hitler was? Hitler is um... no, but listen, Hitler is dead. So, mm -hmm. so, si estuviera vivo, es, do you know who Hitler is? Uh -huh. But it's he's dead. Do you know who Hitler was? Was mm -hmm. Hitler was um. He was like the, the leader of Germany. 
He was a killer. Yes. Hitler is my favorite person in history. But mm -hmm. wait, wait. I hate Hitler. Yo, me too. Pero lo que él hizo es fascinante. Lástima que por algo malo. Pero como una persona logró mover masas, oh, no puede existir alguien bueno que haga eso. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, I, I like to read. I love to read. It's my favorite hobby. Pero cuando digo, Hitler es mi, mi en la historia, él es mi favorito, toda la gente. No, o sea, no por lo que hizo, sino por la historia que pasó. Lástima. La astucia. Yes, he was. Pero también, he, eh, mejor, wow, he was. Lástima, fue malo, man. Oh, bad, terrible person. But he was good economics and everything. So, uh, good. Questions. Now you ask me. Let me see. Carmen, ask me a question. Yo voy a poner el tema. A... History. History. Yeah. Do you know who Michael Pot was or is? Sorry. Michael Fox. Michael Fox? Yes. Marty. Or Michael J. Fox. J. Fox. J. Fox. That's not history. Well, well, yeah, but okay. Michael J. Fox is the TV act. Uh, the he's a movie actor from Back to the Future. All mm -hmm. right, good. Udi, ask me a question. Rock music. Hey, um, do you know who was? Uh, uh, it's so easy. <laughs> is Kurt Cobain? Who was Kurt Cobain? Yes, he was the singer of Nirvana. Yes. <laughs> Yo lo I'm tuve como a diez pasos. It was my first concert in my life. A good concert. Yes. Oh, tengo una cicatriz por eso. <laughs> because I was... 13 or 14. I escaped my house at night. Me salí de la casa en la noche para el concierto y mi mamá se dio cuenta. Ya, o sea, cuando entré en la casa en la madrugada, ¡ay, imbécil está vivo! Me tiró un zapato. Pero valió la pena porque vi a Nirvana. Estuve castigado dos meses. <laughs> vale la pena. Yes, yes. Es que también, ya me imagino, mi hijo se me escapa de la casa. Lo mato, man. <laughs> All right. Maribel. Hey, teacher. Ask me a question. Your option. Action. Um, no, cual, su opción cualquiera, dígame. History, music, books, food. Um, movies. What, what you what you do you like? No, do you know? What do you know? What you like? Maribel, eh, eh, todas las preguntas que hemos hecho hoy en los últimos minutos han sido Do you know who? Okay. Así, do you know? Do you know who Bukele is? Yes, he's the president of El Salvador. Do you know who 
A any example, do you know who a Cipitillo is? Yes, he is the son of La Ciguanaba. Mm -hmm. Do you know who, okay, ask me. Okay. Do you know uh, who, uh, Luis Miguel is? Yes, I know, he is a Mexican singer. Okay. Okay, now, this, instead of saying who, vamos a when. when. Alejandra Milena, you work in call centers. Yes. Do, you, do, you know, do you know when Thanksgiving is in the United States? Thanksgiving is 20, I don't know, I don't remember. <laughs> it's, mm, Oh, November, right? Yes. It's yes. the fourth, the fourth Thursday of November. Yes. Fourth Thursday. Let me see. <laughs> oh, okay. <Yeah>. <laughs> yes, it's the fourth <laughs> Thursday. Always. Nunca fecha fia. It's always the fourth Thursday. Do you know okay. when Black Friday is? It's like the last week. Friday. 24? No, Black Friday. I, I don't know. <laughs> Black Friday is the day after Thanksgiving. I don't know. So, no, I, 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 se lo acabo de decir. Yeah. Thanksgiving is the fourth Thursday of November. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Black Friday is the next day. Oh, okay, the next day, yes. Yeah. 18. <laughs> no, es que nunca es fecha fija. Ah. Eso, oh. es algo que, eso es algo chivo de Estados Unidos, que casi uh -huh. todas las fechas es siempre el primero, el segundo, el tercero del mes. Uh -huh. Solamente so el de answer, Solo eso no cambia. Thursday of November? Yes, Thanksgiving. <laughs> and Black Friday is the next day. Oh, really? Antes de irnos, ¿saben por qué se llama Black Friday? No. Oh, tell us. All right. Why? So, voy a explicar en español rapidito, porque es un poco de cultura. Eh, por el hecho que las en Estados Unidos el día de acción de gracia es el día festivo más grande de Estados Unidos, más que Navidad y más que todos. ¿Por qué? Porque obviamente Estados Unidos es grande. Uno vive en California, después el hijo se fue a vivir a Nueva York, en Nueva York conoció a su esposa y la familia de la esposa vive en... en en Miami, o sea, es tan grande. Entonces, el Día de Acción de Gracias, como cae un jueves, es jueves, viernes, sábado y domingo. Son cuatro días. Y ese día sí se aprovecha toda la familia para unirse. Porque ya no van a poder en Navidad. ¿Ya es? No, según la tradición. Entonces, se llama el Viernes Negro porque en una ciudad... Había una persona que tenía una tienda, algo grande, en una, en una ciudad pequeña. Y él se puso a pensar, la ciudad se llenaba bastante el día de Acción de Gracias. El siguiente día él dijo, voy a poner todas mis cosas en oferta, aprovechando que todo el mundo está aquí, porque aquí va a estar el tío, el abuelo, la tía, los sobrinos y todo. Entonces ahí es donde uno aprovecha y hace todas las compras porque ya no lo voy a ver hasta el otro año. Entonces esta persona se le ocurrió y puso unas super ofertas. Y cabal, toda la gente iba el viernes a comprar donde él. Pasó un año, dos, tres, y se hizo una tradición. Se hizo tan grande esa tradición de que llegaba gente de otras ciudades. A tal grado que sean un viernes negro porque la ciudad parecía invadida por las ofertas que ponía esa tienda. 
como, oh man, es Black Friday, tráfico y no sé qué, porque toda la gente quería comprar en esa tienda por las ofertas. Lastimosamente esta persona no lo patentó y todas las tiendas le empezaron a copiar. Hoy hasta en El Salvador existe el Black Friday. Sí. Ay, le dicen viernes negro porque, oh no, mañana mi pueblito se va. Creo que el es como... El asado creo que lo patentó aquí, ¿no? Sí. Es como, es como los farolitos. ¿Dónde es que es los faroli, farolitos? Oh, Dicen que ese día es imposible entrar a ese pueblo. Hay que entrar caminando. ¿eh? Ajá. Eh, y sí, mi esposa fue con mi suegra, creo, hace como cinco años arrepentida porque se tardaron como cuatro horas para salir porque toda la gente se... Porque, o sea, algo es ir al Black Friday en ese pueblo. Se me olvidó el nombre del pueblo ahorita. Entonces, ¿Y, y, ¿Y atacó? No. En, en ataco. Uh -huh. Ataco. En ataco. Ataco, no. I think. Oh, okay. So I imagine the day of El Farolitos en ataco is the black day. Para los locales, como, oh no. Tomorrow's horrible. Many people. Like uh, when we have the carnival here in San Miguel. Oh, yes. Hey, the carnival is good. I went. The carnival. It's nice. <laughs> Pero a la calle, man. Yes. <laughs> In the street. Yeah. So that is Black Friday. It is the biggest holiday in the United States. Yes. Y mucha gente ya no le gusta celebrarlo porque la historia realmente fue bien cruel. <laughs> Para hacer la historia larga y corta, eh, unos peregrinos estaban escapando de, de Europa porque estaban matando a todos los que no eran católicos, creo. Y se escaparon por buscando su propia religión. Se vinieron a América y no soportaban el, el, los cambios de clima. Se morían como que era más salvaje la vida, que eso no ellos venían de un mundo más civilizado. Entonces vinieron los indios nativos de buena onda, los vieron muriéndose, vieron que ya no eran un peligro y les ayudaron. Les enseñaron a, a cosechar, cómo matar animales, usarlo para abrigos, todo. Entonces cuando venían más pilgrims, peregrinos a América, los que ya estaban en América les enseñaban a los nuevos. Y... Empezó a crecer, a crecer, a crecer. Y un día dijeron, hey, nosotros tenemos mucho que agradecerle a los indios porque si no fuera por ellos estuviéramos muertos. Y los invitaron a una gran fiesta. De acción de gracias, en honor, gracias por ayudarnos. Duró como tres días y fue un gran amor y paz. <ríe> Con los años siguientes los esclavizaron, les quitaron sus tierras, les obligaron a hablar inglés. Eh, todo lo todo entonces por eso hay mucha gente que no está de acuerdo con el día de acción de gracias pero es más es más mercadeo hoy que, que otra cosa yeah. lo que sí no estoy de acuerdo es que gente aquí lo celebra o sea, no, eso sí no es nada nuestro fin comercial ya yeah. No, yo, yo conozco gente, tengo unos vecinos que comen pavo y dan la acción de gracias. Really, man? No sé, no, es una historia no nuestra. Yeah. Es como, eh, pero cada quien. Pero me dieron pavo el año pasado. So. ¿Cómo iba a decir que no? Thank you. Ok, um, mañana... Quiero enseñarles a usar direcciones, ¿ok? Vamos a empezar a decir next, turn, go, cross, ¿ok? Okay. So, okay. Thank you very much. Have a good night. Okay. Good night, everybody. Good night. Bye. Good night, everybody. David. Yes, sir. Hello. ¿Será que nos podemos quedar dos minutos? Quería hacer un par de consultitas. Yes, 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 yes.
Permítame. Oh, no, no. Ok, yes. Bueno, sí. Ok. Hey, comentarle, fíjense que yo re, realmente el primer curso que estoy llevando, eh, trabajo para la constancia y porque se nos ha dado el tema. Eh, con respecto al uso de la plataforma del portal y todo ese tema, ¿será como sé que puedo solicitar algún tipo de apoyo o consultas? Claro. Ok, eh, yo entiendo que estaban eh, pasando un tipo de, de revisión o, o notas para la empresa a la que laboro. Uh -huh. eh, vi un calendario que nos pusieron, sin embargo el calendario, no sé si porque como primera vez que lo estoy llevando, no va en línea con las clases que estamos llevando. Eh, uh -huh. ¿Eso es, es normal o realmente...? Sí, es sí, es que, forma? mire, eh, es un problema que siempre hemos tenido los... Eh, es... Esta clase es un poco grande. Ok. Y una hora es bastante corta. Ajá, yo sé. Y... Por lo menos en mi lado, cuando me dice, para mí es más importante ir entendiendo a qué irla pasando, pasando, boom, 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 boom. Entonces, una, por ejemplo, la última vez tenía una clase de 25 personas. Y, pero igual, siempre la vamos a terminar porque son cinco secciones. Vamos a terminar la segunda. Hoy pensé que la íbamos a terminar, pero que no la terminamos, pero tenemos... Dos semanas y media más. Ajá, para terminarlas. So, no hay problema, lo vamos a terminar. A veces también no sé si han tenido un problema que la plataforma, plataforma no les ha servido. Es, bueno, yo ah, en lo particular, las ocasiones que, que he ingresado y, y he desarrollado, pues, la práctica, hacer todo lo, lo que corresponde, no he tenido problemas. Ok. He trabajado bien, sí. sí, sí, sí. Cuando, cuando tengan problemas con la plataforma, por favor, pónganlo en el chat. Yo a veces, a veces no, no, no contesto inmediatamente o, o mándenme un mensaje directo. Yo creo que sí es mejor. Porque a veces cuando abro mi, mi, mi chat, tengo 112 mensajes. <risa> de, de, no, pero del mismo grupo. Y es porque a veces Inglés Corporativo les está escribiendo de mi chat y... Y a veces me pongo a leer uno por uno y yo, oh, eso no es nada que ver conmigo. O sea, nada que ver porque preguntan acerca de información del otro programa, información de Insafor, y, y a veces ya ni los leo. Y el problema es que a veces salto y quizás en alguno de esos ya era una pregunta para mí. Mm, okay. Entonces mejor, si ustedes me hacen directo el, 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 la pregunta, es más fácil para mí. Oh, ya, yeah. y ahí mismo les ayudo. Ok, de acuerdo, de acuerdo. Ok. Sí, tenía ese, esa duda, porque realmente como es primera vez que soy sí. en el tema, entonces realmente yo creí, no había comprendido que iba a ir haciendo lo que en la plataforma, acorde a lo que íbamos en clase, sí, pero sí. Ahí, otro compañero me decía, no, teníamos que estar ya en, según en un calendario que enviaron, me dice, y ya vamos más atrasado, yo le digo, ok, entonces me puse a ver y, y justamente lo que ya estamos viendo hoy, pero pero ya en teoría lo debíamos haber adelantado según el programa que nos... Sí, claro, no, y a veces van a haber unos temas que son súper, súper fáciles y los vamos a hacer, sí. pero por ejemplo hoy no sé si vieron, el video era casi de 10 minutos Sí, no había infracción, sí, 10 minutos Ya, yeah, y oh, man Ajá, ok y, Pero lo tenemos que ver igual, pero ya las otras no traen muchos videos, ya son mucho más cortos los videos, son como de dos minutos o algo así y, Pero llega un punto que sí alcanzamos, nos ponemos al día Ok y, Ok, de no acuerdo. Solo okay. que la consulta, la verdad. Gracias, muy amable. Ok, thank you. Thank you. Good night. Gracias. Bye bye.